So I actually really like these artificial flowers. It could be neat to add these as applique on a tote or the front of a purse. So I have a really neat idea for these. I think we're gonna get these here. All right, so $5 for the flowers. So I bet you've been wondering, what on earth am I gonna do with this bouquet of flowers and turn it into a purse? Well, instead of turning it into a purse, we are going to decorate a purse. I think it'll be super fun. We'll have a bouquet to carry with us wherever we go. So I'm gonna take an existing bag pattern that I've already created and we are going to refashion it and repurpose it so it's brand new. It's gonna be super fun. So this is our circle bag pattern. There's no lining in it, so it's a very beginner-friendly project. You can make it out of faux leather, cork fabric, or any other fabric that doesn't fray. So this is a very classic style round bag, but it's a little bit drab, so we're gonna go from drab to fab, my friends and add on some flower applique. So I'm gonna start by popping off some of the flowers. I'm gonna save my favorite ones. I feel bad for taking this apart because it is such a pretty arrangement, but you could certainly reuse the flowers. The plastic in the bottom that's supposed to be water is a little yellowed, so that doesn't look the best but the glass could be spray painted and repurposed as just a regular vase for natural flowers, for real flowers. Oh, I like these red ones too. You could certainly add a little bit of greenery around it too. And some of the larger leaves. All right, so I think we're gonna start with this bunch. If we need more, there's plenty more to choose from. So next I'm gonna arrange these how I think that I want to on the circle bag. So I'm working with about an eight inch area for the front to embellish. Of course I'll want this big one in the center. I think we can add some of the small leaves around and then we can top it off. Sprinkle in the red ones. Normally when you make floral arrangements, you start with your greenery first, and then you add on the little embellishments and you end with your main show pieces at the end. So I've actually really gotten into floral arrangements and I was inspired when I saw this in the thrift store and thought, how cool to combine both of my hobbies together into one project. So, kind of an idea of what I'm going for, the main rows in the middle, the smaller roses on the sides, and the greenery to just embellish it even more. So there's probably way too many flowers here, but we'll get out the hot glue gun and start adding these. So I cut off the stem, so I tried to make the flower as flat as possible on the bottom. I'm gonna add a generous amount of glue to the back side and center it on top of the bag. Okay, then we can start adding some of the flowers. I think the smaller leaves and the smaller flowers will work better and we'll want the center part to really stand out so we'll just have a couple pops of color along the side and the leaves. or flowers to this. I think it turned out really cool and it only took a few minutes to add a new flare to a bag that we just had in our stash. So it adds a neat dimension and it brings the whole bag to life and it looks like it's come to life. With this bag you're gonna feel like you're carrying around a bouquet and who wouldn't want to do that and add a little bit 
of freshness and color and texture to their outfits and every day. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I absolutely love that sewing is sustainable. And because of our knowledge of sewing, we have the ability to recycle and repurpose things that are old and give them a brand new life by turning them into something new. I want to challenge you to look at your closet, find something that doesn't fit quite right, but you still love the fabric, and turn it into something new. I hope that you are going to look at your belongings a little bit differently now, and when you go thrift shopping, see that the possibilities are truly endless. I hope that this tutorial was super fun and inspiring and you learned lots of tips about deconstructing garments, some helpful notions that can help you along the process, and hardware for not only embellishment but also helping with structure. If you liked this thrift flip video, let us know by leaving a comment and giving this video a thumbs up if you want to see more tutorials and inspirational videos like this. This was truly fun for me to make and I am just astonished at how the projects turned out to be. They were better than I even imagined. So, we'll see you next time. And always don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more inspirational videos and sewing tutorials. We'll see you next time.